Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have an episode of my Sparta Let's Play campaign, Legendary Difficulty, this is Total War campaign. In the last episode I was able to retake Sparta with the Defenders of Olympus and we are currently replenishing. It looks like I can actually uh, upgrade, upkeep, melee defense, and what have we got? Cunning. Missionary, I think I'll go with the uh, upkeep because that seems to help me out. And yeah, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to quickly check the diplomacy, and we are okay. We're at war with everyone, so we're on track for the achievement. My biggest concern at the moment, of course, is that I got only the one army, so I could end up losing Athens. Although Athens does have a fairly formidable defense, I do have 11 units garrisoned plus two ships actually rebuild some stuff there. Sparta, I can actually get a skirmisher camp. That gives me more of a garrison in Sparta, plus it gives me a skirmisher cavalry. So I'm going to upgrade to that. The extra upkeep has freed up some money for me. Um, Imperium doesn't really matter at this stage, to be honest with you. Um, Imperium doesn't really... I don't really care about Imperium, to be honest. Uh, what else we got? Tax. I could move the tax up a little bit. Is it worth it? Uh, probably not for now. Um, can I raise another force? I can. I probably should do that. Royal family. Ly Lysimachus. Poibos. Dal Daphis and Athenaeus. Uh, I'm going to go with Athenaeus and Royal Spartan, so him, stick him in there and we can actually start recruiting. Plenty of units we can recruit now as well of course. I actually got a few mods on to help me out with the variety of uh, units. I wouldn't mind some cavalry. Two units of light cavalry to begin with. And I think we can end turn. See how things go. So, I hope you guys are all okay. Um, not really an awful lot for me to announce with my channel at the moment. I've had some steady growth recently and I'm enjoying my let's plays. I'm I'm loving my Carthage let's play. It's um I'm I look forward to recording episodes of my Carthage let's play all the time. I do enjoy this one as well. It's just that the last couple of episodes has been a bit irritating with the the lagging and some of the game performance. I don't know whether it's because of the patches, I'm not sure whether the old save files are that compatible with the new, the latest patches. But um, it seems Carthage seems fine. But when I record Sparta, I seem to get some graphical issues. Mission fail, what was this? Oh, I didn't even know I had a mission. <laughs> to be honest, with you, when it's legendary and you're going for this achievement, you don't really care about these missions. So I'm going to stay in Sparta for at least another turn, just to replenish then I think I'll go for Clarissa and try and take the south of well all of this region of Greece basically and we are recruiting here we can recruit some more we need some infantry so we've got Perioikoi, pikemen uh, Spartan hoplites are slightly better by the looks of it and they are slightly cheaper the upkeep's the same so Spartan hoplites I go for three of them and what we got we got Helic javelinmen Range missile damage is good on them, but the range isn't as good as the Helot Slingers, which got 150 range, and the Helot Archers got 125 range plus 27. That's interesting. Well, they got they got the same damage as Javelinmen, but they outrange the Javelinmen and only just short of the Slingers. So we're going to go with Helot Archers. It'll be a good one to recruit, judging by their stats and Defense of Olympus. How many turns will it take to fully replenish? Two turns? Yeah, two turns for these units. That's fine. Um, oh, I need to convert the homestead. I can just dismantle it for now. It's not avail available to my faction, so it's just going to be a waste. A couple of turn f turns for the Hellenistic Polis, four for my skirmisher camp, and four for the Temple of Poseidon. We'll try to consolidate, and then we can push out for Larissa. Is that my spy? It is indeed. Actually, I'm going to move my spy to Larissa then. Ah, I see they, they don't have much there, do they? And they've actually 
lost Paler as well, so I can take advantage of this situation. It seems that Bith, let's see, Bithynia. I was going to call him Bithynia. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Just creating my own culture. It seems Bithynia has taken Paler, and they seem to be expanding fairly well. Oh. They have uh, Nicomedia or Nicomedia, or however you like to pronounce it. I'm not going to go into the whole pronouncing thing because it can be quite uh, controversial. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'll enter in again. Double check. Oh, ah, right. So luckily I checked because, as you can see, the RDI up there I have now discovered. So I need to be declaring war on them. Clear war. Except. See, so I make sure I check every turn. So I'm up with everyone again. Turn, I met them. And there we go. End turn. And we shall see what happens in this end turn phase. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm enjoying the Carthage campaign. And. I'm enjoying my other stuff that I'm doing at the moment on YouTube. At the time of recording this video, I've only just uploaded my uh, new Let's Play video, so I don't actually know at this moment uh, what my new Let's Play is going to be. Tomb Raider, Skyrim, Mountain Blade Warband, Batman Arkham Origins and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag are the five options, but by the time this video goes up, uh, that choice would already be made. But yeah, um, the reason why this video is going up about two weeks after I recorded is because I start on a job um, on the 27th of January and it's for eight weeks it's, it's this sort, sort of work experience uh, situation where it may be a job at the end of it if there's funding but if not you get the work experience and you get the reference and you know I need that at the moment um, in, my, in my kind of career so um, I won't have a lot of time to be recording over that eight week period so I'm trying to get as much done as I can before I actually start my job and yeah hopefully I can do um, do f fairly well at my job Let's get a couple of hell of archers in there we've got my Spartan Hoplites, they're pretty beastly so I think we could try and get a few more of them get another one of them and we'll get a couple of Perioikoi Hoplites as well and I'm just not doing much at the moment in this, um, in this part of the campaign, I'm just replenishing so one more turn now and then these will be fine to move out What's my garrison like? I've got 10. i got another building slot, but I need more money. I, which I'll have next turn, so I'll do that next turn. And um, we'll check diplomacy and then we can turn again. Right, we're all everyone, that's good. Um, we are researching one more turn until we get the Hellenization, which will help us. So we'll enter in again. Yeah, so like I was saying, the job um, is the admin job. And I'm basically uploading as many episodes as I can before the 27th. And I'm going to schedule them, so I've got like three Carthage episodes done at the moment. I've got one Sparta one done before this, I've got this one, and then I plan to do another one straight after it. So I'll have a three weeks worth of episodes. So every Tuesday will be Carthage, every Thursday will be Sparta, like I've been doing for the past few weeks. But these will be done every week, so we get one episode a week for you guys to enjoy. Well, hopefully enjoy. <laughs> hopefully, if you can put up with my rambling, then you are a true, true Dragonite. And I will award you with a golden cookie and uh, start of the Dragonborn and <laughs> just talking random crap again but yeah basically that's my situation at the moment I'll probably end up saying this in some sort of vlog which I'll do which is probably already up my channel right now um, research is complete so first things first we'll check the research so we have Hellenization we could go for mercenaries but I don't really see the point at the moment uh, gymnasia practice camp and combat I probably need some civil stuff as well Set prices, wealth and tariff, give us wine, philosophy, actually I think I want, where is it, siege tower, where's the work, I'm trying to find this now, uh, I can't remember what it's called, this siege is somewhere on you, gives you the, the workshop, siege engineers workshop, I think that's what I'm after, field engineers workshop, that's what I want, six, should give me uh, chance for siege equipment which I need if I right click here a second I need to check this so it's a uh, where we go feeling use workshop yeah if I click on this yeah just double checking yeah it looks like it that's what I want so we'll research that faction destroy Tylus oh oh my god they've taken Larissa oh shit right we're in the shit here they have <laughs> one, two, three, four, five provinces. They are right at our doorstep. 
we need to take them out, don't we? They've only got one unit there, so I could probably go straight for them. Rome's actually lost Apollonia as well to the RDI tribe. So plenty of things are happening at the moment. It's quite strange. We're, gonna f we're fully replenished here. I think we can move this army out. We can actually... Yeah, I think... Yeah, we can reach Larissa with this army. So we're going to march straight for Larissa with this army. Boom! Oh, they have reinforcements. That's very unpleasant. Oh, mind you, they're only Eastern Spearmen. They're quite crap. Oh, these mob units and Eastern Spearmen are deplenished. I think we could probably take them. Eastern Slingers. Do I have cavalry? I do have cavalry. Right, we'll fight this because I... Even though it's legendary, I do fancy my chances. I may be outnumbered, but half of... Well, a quarter of this army is uh, depleted anyway, so... Yeah, we'll see what we can do. And even if I do lose the battle, hopefully I won't lose my general and I can respawn on the campaign map with my depleted army and I can just swoop in with my secondary army then from Athens and take them out in the following turn. So that's the the plan at least. And I gotta say so far in this episode I haven't experienced any any uh, big lags. Like the previous episode I had loads and loads of lags. They, I got lagging on the campaign map, I got lagging on the battle map and it was just just so irritating to play and well not irritating to play because I enjoy playing I can actually turn the rain off because that might uh, help performance a little bit uh, right there's the, the city where they deploy by let's see best way in could go straight through here uh, I can attack from anywhere really I think I can just attack from the front where I am at the moment and we're going to get all my slingers Put them into some formation like so. Let's get the cavalry out wide. Group them as well. I'm using the control. Oop, did it wrong. Using control G to actually group my units. And stick all these guys into formation like so. And then the rest can just go in a massive line. Like so. Pretty untidy, but I don't care. So where's the enemy? Of course we got the whole camera thing going on at the moment where it, everything's hidden. I'm going to bring my skirmishers up. Oh, reinforcements are approaching according to the advisor. Where are they then? Are they behind me? I always got this fear that they're going to spawn behind me. Because one of the things with this game is that uh, reinforcing armies tend to respawn in the most weirdest of places but they looks like they're right opposite us at the moment right in the town so bring my missile troops forward we shall bring my spearmen periokai spears and periokai hoplites forward and then the main line of this army can actually push up as well I'm gonna take my two cavalry units to the right flank and see what if there's anything out here maybe I can exploit the terrain and wedge in through the streets here or maybe flank around plenty of opportunities slingers we can what's the range? Uh, not too far away we can probably bring them to here hopefully I won't be as attacked can't see any other units Let's just double check nope I cannot see any units at all by the enemy out here anyway so I think we are good to go. How are we doing? Right, we're just on the cuff of this the street, so we bring these guys in now. Reinforce, of course, bring everything in. Just doing it a little bit at the time. Ooh, our formation's a bit messed up. Let's, let's just group four and three, because we're going to be fighting in the streets soon. We'll have three. Oh, that's not good at all. Take the group off. <laughs> Let's just group them up like so, and then take the final group, and we'll have them reinforce in behind. This is me and my terrible micromanaging skills. We bring our cavalry to the right flank, push them up even further. This is where I wish I had artillery, because I could just bombard the shit out of them until, until they squeal. Uh, I'm still fearing that they're going to come behind me for some reason. I don't know why. Just a fear I automatically get. Some of our missile troops are firing. Let's get the old unit cam going. There they are with their farmer hats. You shall never steal my crops. There they 
go for their slings. I don't think the slingers do that much damage, but they've got really good range, so they're good for harassing from kind of this distance. I'm going to get them all to attack this unit of Eastern Spearmen. Oh, what's going on here? Cavalry going to meet me perhaps out here? Who knows? I'm going to bring the cavalry forward. Might use them to make a charge and back, a uh, hit and run kind of charge. Hammer and anvil, that's the, that's the word. <laughs> Getting tongue tied again. I'm doing a lot of that lately, getting tongue tied in these videos. I don't know why. I do apologize. Just Maybe it's coming a bit tired. I don't know. I got a song stuck in my head because uh, just before recording this video, I was watching uh, Miracle of Sound. If you've never heard them, check them out on YouTube. They're brilliant. If you love video games like I do, then you're bound to find. Oh, it brings a uh, missile troop back. If you love video games like I do, then you would probably love them. They make vi uh, their own songs for different video games, and basically what they do. Let's get this cat uh, skirmish troop out of the way. Basically, they make music videos for video games. They accompany it with uh, visuals, you know, footage, screenshots, uh, not screenshots, in-game footage and oh, cutscenes. That's the word I was looking for for the game. So they got they got a nice Assassin's Creed. They got about five Assassin's Creed songs. They got The Walking Dead. They've got some Skyrim Skyrim songs. They got a really cool Tomb Raider one. They basically just they write their own songs. They perform them, and yeah, you know if you've never heard of them before, I highly suggest checking them out. Miracle of Sound they, they're called, and you you're bound to find a video there that you enjoy. I just been. Just been watching the Assassin's Creed ones repetitively because they really are that good. What are they doing sending mob units towards me? What are my missile troops doing? Jesus, God. stay back you fools. Right, <laughs> let's bring my some of my spearmen up into the streets because because I can. Let's bring them up like so. I'm going to actually attack down the street as well with these two units to reinforce this unit. May as well go forward right up to the street up there. This slinger unit can actually reinforce along here. These two can go into the into there just to kind of be a reinforcing unit. What have we got in this mob? Eastern slingers. You know, there's not an awful lot here, which I fear. Where's their reinforcements then? I can't see them anyway. What's oh, your sure. Eastern Javelin? Oh, they got sling loads of slingers and javelin men. Do you know what? My cavalry can probably take them out. I'm going to bring my cavalry to this little ridge up here and I'm going to charge through in a diamond formation, I think. Let's put the old phalanx on by here. You know what? Let's just, let's just do the traditional charge into the enemy. This unit can also just just charge up. Just, just gonna charge everything basically. No tactics involved. Just charge in, get the job done. Let's put these in diamond formation now. Got a nice little hill to work from by here. Just charge straight in. And look at this. We got East oh we got spearmen. That's not a shame. I don't want to charge the spearmen. The AI is being smart and sending spearmen towards my cavalry. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can. I don't have to worry about that. Stick some of these buffs on. Let's get buffing. Let's get buffing. Oh god, they go. Uh, they're using fire. But there's no tactics involved in this. CJI is dumb still. And this is patch... Well, this is patch 8.8.1 .8 that this has been recorded on. But today, Creative Assembly have announced there's going to be a patch 9. And they've recently released the beta patch for patch 9 so I don't know what that's going to be like I haven't really read the patch notes yet but uh, hopefully it'll be an improvement I think someone said to me earlier that it's going to be focusing on the optimization which is something it needs desperately I hope they do a good job I don't want to shit on Creative Assembly too much because they are a company I really like uh, as far as companies go they're pretty good at communicating with their audience and yeah you know I do hope sincerely hope that uh, the game does get improved. It has improved, you know, don't get me wrong, it has improved a lot since release. I remember m when the game was released, I was so 
so disheartened because I had my Carthage campaign planned, I had my upgrades on my computer and the game just basically wouldn't play for me at all. And we won this battle fairly easily. Decisive victory. Only lost 69 men. That's a pretty good pretty good uh, win on legendary difficulty. Belos. My general is Belos. He only got 5 kills. Poor general. 207. Oof. Royal Spartan unit there got 207. Very happy with that. So yeah, um, I think they will get it, get it fixed. But on release it was just so... Ooh, straight to the throat. I like that very much. Nice little stabby stabby action. I am going to occupy Larissa. We shall take Larissa as our own. And we are starting to turn the campaign around. Two episodes ago, we were in danger of being wiped out. But now we rise as kings. I'm actually in Larissa here. My spy is going to need to be... Um, I keep my spy... actually put my spy in my army for military, military intelligence. Can actually upgrade. We want a garrison. Anything that gives us a garrison, really. Periodic guy garrison this gives us minus three food, but it gives us a periodic guy hoplite and helot slingers garrison. I could have a homestead for the food, which would be interesting. A workshop for a Greek ballista. Do I have any workshops at all in my uh, kingdom? Get a skirmisher camp here. Turn that off. Dismantle it. Oh, that's all I can guess. You've got to be kidding me. I just wasted money then, didn't I? That gives me the garrison. i got to go with the skirmish camp. Ah, but I can get a workshop in Sparta. Okay, we'll do that. Sparta's going to be having a workshop. I do have... I uh, don't have much money left. What have we got? we got 15 uh, men in this unit here, plus my spy. We can actually rank up again. We can have public order from characters. Morale for all units. I like the weapon damage, so we we'll go with that. Defenders of Olympus. We have the Spears of Ares, which are recruiting as we speak. Can actually recruit some more, which I'm going to need. What we got? We got three Hillard Archers, three Spartan Hoplites. Um, got cavalry. I'll go with uh, a unit of slingers just to bolster that army. Uh, I think we can end turn. I'll probably end the episode then, at the end of this end turn phase. But alluding to what I was saying earlier, the release it was bad. I had my my Carthage campaign all planned out, and I loaded the game up, and it just felt horrible. I, I was getting horrible, horrible, horrible texture problems. Oh, and Bithynia have attacked us with two armies. Interesting. One of, this ar one of these armies is heavily thingied. I'm going to sally forth. We'll fight this battle in this episode, I think. Nice long one for you guys to enjoy. But yeah, um, I, I'm just going to quickly say, finish this off now with the, my conversation with you guys because I keep going to it and from it. Basically, the game was released. I had my Carthage, campa Carthage campaign and yeah, it was a horrible experience. The game had terrible... Oh, look at this nice sail. Oh, this is beautiful. Right, I'm going to fight them on this hill. Sorry, I've been taken back by this hill. <laughs> Why have I got my men so depleted? Oh, so many slingers. Right. They shall fight us on the hill. Nice long line. I want to try and hit as many of them as I can. You guys can be grouped up. And yeah, the game was poor on release. Put my cavalry in here. game was poor on release and I just didn't enjoy making my first few videos for it it was one of the worst experiences for me as a youtuber because I had, I'd been looking forward to making videos for this game for well since it was released really and to see the game be so poor upon its release was a very disheartening thing for me because I was hoping to to play the death out of this game and I know I'm playing the game quite a lot actually so you know I can't really can't really complain too much I suppose 
but it was just at the time, you know, things kind of happened and I did the first seven episodes of that Carthage campaign and it was unbearable. I didn't know, I didn't really know what I was doing with the game as well, to be fair, because I was new to this new get to this game when it first came out. Oh, and there's little units for there. Um, what can we do? Lovely, lovely ridge. This is this is a, this is quite a good map, to be fair. Lovely ridge. They got a hill. We got a bigger hill. They've attacked me, so they got to come to me. They got to come up this bloody hill, and I'm gonna pelt the shit out of them, basically. I've got my cavalry hidden over here ready to make a little charge down here if need be. My general's on the left flank. Oh, they're gonna camp. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're gonna camp. What happens if the timer runs out? I win. I win if the timer runs out. Okay, guys, might be in for a long wait here. Um, <laughs> if that does happen, of course, I'll end up... I won't obviously show the battle, but... Um, I'm gonna see what they do. I don't think they'll sit there. I hope they don't sit there because no, I know what they're doing. They're gonna wait for the reinforcing army behind over here, and then they'll attack in one formation. So I could at w sit here and hit the main force all at once, or I can let them all come to me. Oh, look at all these slingers though. Oh, I could go for the slingers right now. No, I'm gonna make a charge with the. Hiya, uh, hiya. I'm going to bring these guys forward because they're useless because they're only six men in the unit. These men are going to make a downhill charge. I'm not going to sacrifice the cavalry because they're too important. Sorry, I'm singing again. <laughs> I don't realize I'm doing it sometimes. Oh, look at this bollocks formation. Actually, it's not too bad. Spearman in a small square, spearman in a rectangle. I can actually charge these with these uh, six units. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Here we go. My suicide unit, these are. Eyes front. My suicide units. Ah, oh, they're going to get caught up by the slingers. I could just attack the. Uh, there we go. Bithy infantry. Oh, they don't, don't tell me they're going to get... Oh, I, come on. Two left. I should put the morale mod on, really, shouldn't I? I might do that in the next episode, because... Understood. This is bollocks when you charge them like this, and you just don't get... Any sort of... You know... Units making any attacks. Order. See, look at that. That unit didn't even get to them. This unit barely got to them. I know it's a suicidal... Charge, but... What else am I going to use them for? They, there's only six men per unit. I see it as a beneficial kind of thingy for me. I can actually bring some of these missile troops into a different position now. Some of these missile troops need to be repositioned on the mountain. Three ranks. We go. They could have tried to attack down this flank. I want them to not. I want them to try and come up this hill. Oh, that's a lot of men. <laughs> Look how many troops they've got. Shit. I don't think I thought about this. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. We're going to hold them. Let's get the old formations going. Let's get the beasts going. into a tight formation bucket right on top of this hill oh this is me trolling when oh, square can't bloody think can I of course didn't think this through right these guys are kind of screwed oh, I don't really want to charge them I'm going to have to charge them though God, they cut this hill so quickly, don't they? 
Where's the cavalry? Shit. Let's get them involved. What we got? Eastern spearmen chasing me. Shit, too many spearmen. Let's send them down there. Try out flank. Too many units. Shit, 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 shit. Can't have these guys being too inactive. Come on, it's only Eastern spearmen. They shit. Fucking kill them. Easy. Right, let's get some of these men off the mountain because they're just hitting the shit out of us at the moment. Fucking get down that mountain. Come on. Oh, general's getting outflanked. Right, shit. Hop the table wall. Second wind. Give ourselves a little brace. Give ourselves a battle rhythm. Just mob. Just, just bloody. <laughs> going a bit mental at the moment, trying to. Trying to win this. Right, we're flanked behind with the cavalry. Let's try and hit some of the uh, slingers out of this battle. Come on, it's only spearmen, they fucking shit. Spartans! Attack! Steady. Steady. You two are inactive. Get down that fucking mountain. Actually, no, you can come down and flank. This one, get down the mountain. Don't fucking waver. Come on, form up into. Off the table now. Come on, attack those phalanx, you bastards. Oh, we wrote fucking hell, look at this. We are routing all these spearmen unit slingers. Oh, these slingers are fucked. Oh my god, it's beautiful, right. Let's get all the slingers. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh man, I'm starting to sound like Prince of Mastodon at the moment. <laughs> this doesn't happen often, but to quote the A-team. I like it when a plan comes together. Oh my god, we are just raping them. General's doing... <laughs> General's lost two men. <laughs> oh my god, legendary difficulty. Jesus. I'm raping the shit out of him. For glory! For Sparta! Sparta! Lost my cavalry, where'd they go? Oh, down here. Right, let's get these cavalry units down here because we can hit the, the slingers which are this side. Oh, actually we can get some of them in the in the forest. I like it when a plan comes together. Oh we got some more things, so we'll go for second wind. Let's go for brace for this unit. Oh my god, they they screwed. Attack. This unit is still holding in there. I can't believe it. I do think I might get that mod for the um, the morale because I don't like it when these units, mor some of these units, m break when they've only lost like 20 men. I think that's a lot of bullshit. So yeah, I might do that. Oh, they got a lot of spearmen here. Oh, I haven't won this battle yet, have I? Let's fucking kill them. Get the javelin on this side with the cavalry. Doing a pretty good job with the cavalry, and I haven't lost that many horses. Fucking hell, stop them, just stand there and take the shit. Fucking charge them. Eastern spearmen chasing me down. Oh, we've raped that unit. Right, they're gone. Cavalry's doing well. I have lost quite a few men, but I'm a bit of a douche when it comes to total war. Uh. <laughs> be honest so on legendary difficulty this kind of win is pretty good for me I think hopefully with me competing in more tournaments like I compete in the Rubicon tournament hopefully I can become a better, a better player that's my aim with Total War become better I might even attempt a legendary Shogun campaign later in the year so we'll see how things go if that's what you guys want to see then I shall deliver it to you like an honourable postman oh we're losing units don't lose the units come on We've only got 19 left, right? This unit can take these guys out. Fucking cavalry can deal with these slingers down here. Spartans! Attack! Fucking kill them! Hopefully, days ready! Oh, don't lose his battle, come on. We're gonna kill him. Unit can, please! Oh, look at this, beautiful. Look at them. Blobbing, lovely blobbing action there. It's like a pornographic. 
I think we've killed most of them. They've only got this unit left of slingers, and they've got this unit left of spearmen. This charge of spearmen downhill. Oh, they've got some over here as well. I didn't, I didn't notice them. Oh, the cavalry's going to open them anyway. Oh, that was beautiful. I just saw a guy then trample over. Oh, and again. We're killing them. Oh, that's beautiful. Make a machine route of that now. <laughs> oh, my God. They're gone. We've won this battle. Pretty good considering they outnumbered me. There we go. Victory. End the battle. Costly victory. Oh. Oh, we did lose 976. They lost over 2,000. One of my cavalry units had over 300 kills. One of them had over 400 kills. Oh, my God. <laughs> I had a feeling I did pretty well with the cavalry. Just completely decimated and annihilated their, their skirmishes. <laughs> One of their skirmisher units only got five kills as well, so we completely nullified some of them. Not bad for a ten minute battle. There we go, so we will. I could release them, but I'm going to kill them. How dare they attack the mighty Sparta. Sparta! So once we get to the the end of this end turn, I'll wrap up this episode and I hope you've enjoyed it it's been it's been interesting <laughs> nice little battle there nice couple of battles in this episode for you guys to enjoy hopefully oh my frames per second dropped again I'm down to nine frames per second at the moment that's strange slums in Clarissa that's not good and there we are so I've been Dragonheart hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Sparta until next time goodbye <laughs>